Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So I'm still gonna do the same random integer generator thing that I did in the last episode. You know, it's been like a day and a half, I guess, or two days for you, but it's been like two hours for me, so it's still the preferred method I'm gonna go with. One to ten. This time we got four. So we're gonna remove this. I'm, bear with me, I'm still terrible at OBS. And then that's gonna be four from Isaac, with Isaac counting as one. One. Two, three, four, Judas. Oh, that's very scary. Um, it's, I'm gonna do it. I just wanna make sure I'm ready. So we only have one HP. We haven't had Judas too much on this. Uh, and Curse of the Blind, BP8M0ET4. Let's do this. Please be good. Spoon better. That's great. Uh, that's, that's really good news. I am nervous though, because there's a lot of enemies that could kill us in one hit. So why am I shooting all this? Four cents is one cent away from being able to buy a spirit heart from our shop. If there is a spirit heart available on said shop. Also, you never know if maybe a half red heart's gonna show up. Now there's another out for us, potentially. If we get a bomb, there is a tinted rock there. If we get bombs, there's a tinted rock. Or if we get bombs, there's spirit hearts directly there. We're really only one consumable away. There's also, obviously, one of those is not a library. It's a, or not a shop, it's a library. I basically hate you for both being on the same pixel there. It scared the shit out of me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, we know that one the library is the one that's closest to the shop. The question is, do we want to go into the library, or do we want to save our key and go into the shop? Let's weigh the pros and cons. Shop, much better chance to have a spirit heart, but the library, which I'm going to do... Oh, it's not a library at all. Either way, though. Um... Oh, I hate this. Don't accidentally take Suicide King. Don't accidentally take Temperance. Cart we're gonna use Cart Against Humanity. And I'm gonna shoot all of this shit. And my hope is that we get a key or a bomb out of it. Um, I'm gonna do all of it, man, because I'm really nervous. You know, I know how Cobalt's streak ended. Cobalt's streak, not, Co not his life, but his streak ended. Um, at 205 wins because he had one HP and ended up fighting the haunt. Does it look familiar? <laughs> We're lucky enough to have Spoonbender, which is fantastic. And of course, in addition to Spoonbender, we have uh, Book of Belial, which is also fantastic. And we have a really, really good chance to get a Spirit Heart, but we're gonna need a key in order to make it so. Um, if we live, we should be able to get a lot, well, a decent amount of money on this floor, because we do have uh, all this poop basically in here. This is gonna make it impossible for us to do boss rush right off the bat. And also, you know, we, we can play these double temperance blood bank things. And originally I was like, I'm not gonna do that because I was scared that I might need the HP for later. Oh, all is forgiven. Okay, we got a spirit heart out of the poop. Say, right now, as far as I'm concerned, Card Against Humanity has saved our run. It's not a guarantee that we would have taken damage. However, Cards Against Humanity and shooting all the poop has, has given us a, a, a second lease on life. Not that I was, 100% super freaking scared, but I was a little scared. Just a little bit. And we're going to continue doing this, um, because it's actually worked out very nicely for us so far. We're at 10 cents and, and growing. Just don't accidentally take Suicide King. It's the it's the other card. Don't take it. Don't take it at all. We don't need to... Let's not even risk it. Good. Temperance? Temperance. We get to play both of them once. Pick this up. Play both of them again. And you know what? I think we'll even go for the... We'll go for the Gusto here. Play him again. I really, really wanted a, uh, a blood bank... Or a blood bag payout. But! I'm feeling pretty good. And we still are only one key. Especially now that we have so much money. Or one bomb away from basically being... Unlikely to die on this floor. I didn't want to... I know I used strong language there. Oh, are you sure you can stand by that Northern Lion? Unlikely to die? <laughs> it's like the the most weak way to possibly phrase it, but we have a tinted rock, we have guaranteed spirit hearts, um, and we have, if we get a key, access to the shop and probably the ability to buy whatever we need to get more. So I, I feel like this has probably sorted us out here and I'm extremely happy for it. Lovely. Let's go check out our shop. For 15 cents, I really can't justify uh, buying the Curse of the Blind item. At least not yet. I'll just give myself an extra spirit heart, and uh, I'm, I was kind of tempted to blow up the tinted rock, because a small rock would be useful, maybe even more useful than a, uh, 
than Spirit Hearts. But what if we got like a Golden Chest or something like that? I'd, I'd rather just take the Guaranteed out, basically. Um, and maybe we'll see what we get from our boss here, provided we live. You know what? With two Spirit Hearts, why don't we go back and blow up the Tinted Rock now? We've hedged our bets a little bit. I, uh, I think this is a reasonable call here. Good! That's... That was the correct outcome. That was the correct course of action, I should say. And we really, like, if we get red hearts, we we can buy the mystery item if we want to. Because we'll be able to play the temperance blood banks a little bit more. If we get money, we'll be able to buy the mystery item. If we get HP, we'll be able to buy the mystery item. Like, there's, there's outs for us here. And we got lucky we're not even actually fighting the haunt, or fistula for that matter. So, I think that this floor pretty easily could have gone a, a much scarier and different way. But, uh... It didn't, so I'm I'm loving life right now. This could have been dangerous. Instead, I think we we planned. You know, they say a that's pretty good. They say a failure to plan is a plan to fail. I think we failed to fail to plan. We planned, and it has let us sail instead of fail, which is as better as far as I'm concerned. We got two more cents. Ah, fuck it, I'll do it. I'll give up half a spirit heart for. Two more cents, then I'll buy the mystery item. I'm not gonna take Suicide King with me. Straight up, I don't trust myself to not accidentally hit Q. It's embarrassing, but true. Champion Belt, I think it was well worth the half Spirit Heart and the 15 cents to, to get this. And uh, we're in a really good position, actually. But we still need to very much simmer down and remember that, you know, it's not set for us. We're not in, we're not completely set and we need to not take uh, preventable damage. Except for that, <laughs> which... I, I really was interested in getting in there. So, um, we the thing is, we don't know if we're going to have uh, good access to Spirit Arts for the rest of the run. We got lucky on this floor, but you never know if this is, it's going to be like, uh, you know, a one-time deal. So, we really need to be careful not to take much preventable damage. We're going to take some preventable damage. That's just, you know, I don't want to set myself up with some unrealistic expectations here. Um, but our damage is really nice, I got to admit. Uh... Especially with Spoonbender helping out, and Spoonbender this early opens up all sorts of potential uh, permutations for awesome synergies. I do not see any Tinted Rocks there, which is a poor outcome on our part, but maybe, you know what, I would have rather had them on the last floor. So if you're going to give me two times the normal number of Spirit Hearts on the last floor and none on this floor, that's fine by me. And by achieving true enlightenment and inner peace, they gave me another one right there, so I appreciate that as well. Red Chest. Not Sailor's Delight, and that's okay. Got our deal with the devil coming up here, and there's our Fistula fight. Man, this was... If we had slightly worse luck with our Spirit Hearts, we actually could have found ourselves in a, in a truly terrible situation on this run. Uh, this could have been dire, and for once, you know, on the last run, we almost snatched defeat from the Jaws of Victory. Early on on this run, we have, we've done the opposite, and it's renewed my, my faith in my play to a small extent. Still no HP upgrades or anything like that, which is very scary, but uh, we don't have anything to give up for uh, on the deal with the devil here anyway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're not going to let me take the other pill? You're also not going to let me get a key to access the the uh, the item room, ideally, you know? I guess not. Um, so I shouldn't get too cocky about this run. Don't don't take my, my praise thus far as overconfidence. We've had a lot of runs recently where we were unable to access item rooms, and if I remember correctly, we got a pretty nice streak going right here, so just the fact that we can't access the item room on this floor is not necessarily indicative of it being a impossible situation. We got a key right there anyway, though. And no Curse of the Blind. So what do we got? Chocolate milk. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is a great setup right now. I just wanted to make sure there definitely was not a key in there. So I wasn't being the guy again who's like, Where's the... There's no key! But actually, there's a key. I also bought the Spirit Heart because... It seemed like a good idea. Keep our survivability up. And Amnesia! That's the perfect time to get an Amnesia pill if you gotta get it. Chocolate Milk is a great pickup. Uh, along with Spoonbender. And the fact that we've just got great damage going for us as is. This is a, a very encouraging start to this run. If we could pick up a... Um, a few more damage upgrades or like piercing shots or anything like that. Uh, it's it's conceivable that this could carry us pretty far. But for now, um, let's just focus on the situation at hand. We know we're going to have deals with the devil every single floor. Well, deals every single floor. Uh, we didn't get any kind of precedent, so it actually might be deal with the angel time on our next floor. 
It's debatable how good or terrible that is, but we should probably have a bomb ready just in case we do want to blow up our angel statue and get more deals with the angel or just give ourselves a chance at a mega satan fight anything along those lines but i'm gonna do what's best for for me and mine on this run and mine in this case is the streak but of course if a reroll shows up i'm gonna reroll my whole run because uh i'm a absurd dude who doesn't care about anything pretty sick of amnesia i'll tell you i'll tell you that much flat out but at least we don't have to scrounge for a key this time. That was a little bit of a dangerous dodge there. Probably a much simpler way to do it, but my brain did not figure it out properly at the time, and that's okay. Did I not just get, like, seven cents for picking up that nickel? Something about that seemed weird. Anemic. I'm probably just misremembering, but I thought I had one cent and then went up to eight when I picked up the nickel. Which, maybe I'm just suffering from a low-grade psychosis or something. Ooh, secret room. Lucky me. Just seemed too fitting to pass up. And we probably will go to our shop then, because we do have a bomb. Probably at two cents is pretty much a guarantee that we could blow up our donation machine for whatever we need um, to get the next item. But we might just want to buy spirit arts, keep ourselves like in the in the money that way. It's not really in the money, but you know what I mean. Really thought you would die in one hit. It's okay. Two hits is the next best thing to one hit. Let's see what our boss has going for us. It's still like. Our damage is fantastic. I'm very scared about our HP. We haven't really had any uh, spirit hearts on this floor. And in addition to that, uh, we unfortunately have not had any... Wow, that was a great misfortune for me. We haven't had any um, HP upgrades over the course of the whole game. Until now. Hey, it actually worked out. And we did get a deal with the devil. Not Krampus. I will take Horror of Babylon here. I will. And now I really want to get a Spirit Heart. Now, Horror of Babylon is not immediately useful, but we got a pretty good chance of getting to the point where it is. It's worth buying the map here, I think. Oh, that was an accident. It still worked out, though. Okay, good stuff. Uh, and that is uh, an Amnesia Pill. So I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor, to be honest with you. And we'll basically rinse and repeat there. I'm glad we got the HP, but really we didn't get HP. We got Horror of Babylon. And Anemic. So we're still going to be, hopefully, farming up some, some guppy items here. I really don't want a uh, purple heart. More champions... Whew, a little scary. More champions can be a good thing, uh, but it can also be a very scary thing. A good thing because some of them drop consumables, but I think, you know, the ones that drop consumables are substantially rarer than the ones that just piss me off. So, considering we already have champion belt... Uh, oh, thank you. Considering we already have champion belt, I don't really want to tempt fate and go for... Uh, even more risk of champions showing up. Probably smarter for us to just play it cool. That, that was a really good spoon bender. You know, credit where credit is due. I like to call out the positives as well as the negatives. And uh, that spoon bender shot was acting as if it was, uh, you know, possessed by another force. We have one key left. That's going to be for our item room. Room paid for itself. And uh, also gave us a spirit art, so. I'm eternally grateful there. Still, I, I, I can't feel like I can go off on a tangent about, you know, sandwiches versus wraps or something like that right now because I'm still in a little bit of a dire position HP-wise. But that is kind of an interesting thing to bring up because our HP is a double-edged sword right now. The less of it we have, the more dangerous it is, but past a certain, you know, uh, binary threshold, it also gives us a huge damage bonus, which is something we should be paying attention to. I hate these enemies. So, yes, I will use... Oh, 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 yes. I will use Book of Belial to get out of it a little faster. I did not feel good about that, but I went through it anyway, and I hate myself. Magic Mush will make up for it, though. Mm, okay. I used that before the big room. Maybe not the smartest idea. How many of these guys we got? Whoa. Little risky. Little risky, little risky, little risky. I don't know why that sounds like uh, it could be a 1950s uh, song. And mostly my brain is on autopilot right now as I try to just use the fight or flight response to generate enough adrenaline to power my brain and get me the fudge out of that situation. This theoretically should be pretty easy. 
We're up to five cents. We could buy a Spirit Heart to compensate for the one that I threw away. Um, I am going to open this, and I don't fully regret it. At least not yet. That was nice. Uh, it's not so nice, though. If we get another bomb, maybe we'll consider that. This should be a, an automatic room for us, and I almost took damage there. That would have been... You know, we're, we're only really one hit away from being in a very scary position. Ooh, this was not as automatic as I thought it was, man. Kind of a scary room, actually. We would have been much better off saving our bomb and using it for uh, the secret room on this side so we can actually get to the chest as well. Bonies are always a little risky. On the bright side, we uh, have homing tears, so we don't need to worry about standing directly in their line of sight, at least. Gotta be the item room up here. Oh, my God. Well, a bomb would be... Pretty sweet. Good dodge. Now we can keep them all on the same side. Makes our life very easy. And of course, easy enough that I hadn't even finished my sentence by the time we finished the room. Proptosis. I mean, this is huge. I can't deny it. And, you know, I asked for damage upgrades and I seem to be getting them. But HP scares me a little bit. But, oh my god. Look at these tears. are so good. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and with Book of Belial, it's going to be even better. But we're... Not going to get an extra uh, Spirit Heart from our shop. So it, there's a little risk associated with it. I don't have anything that I can do to find that secret room there. So <sighs> it's, it's such a double-edged sword. I'm so happy with the fact that we've got such good damage. But at the same time, uh, damage doesn't mean that much without HP. But if we can just get, like, Guppy's Paw here would be so good for, like, four different reasons. And a little bit of extra HP there helps out a lot. Um, we'll take the mark here. And I'm very tempted to take Brother Bobby as well, because... And I'm gonna do it. Uh, because that'll put us in the Horror of Babylon state. Are we ready to go? We don't have any bombs, but I think it's worth looking for them. So our damage will have improved so much now. We got the mark, we got Proptosis, we got Horror of Babylon actually working out in our favor. Um, I want a bomb from this room. Piercing shots, you know, with every damage upgrade, piercing shots is worth more and more. I don't think I'm missing anything. I, I'm, I'm missing some stuff, but I don't think I can get to it. Uh, unless we get lucky here. Like, our shots are already huge. But HP-wise, I'm still slightly nervous. And, you know, I think I have cause to be, to be honest with you. We're only three hits away from finding ourselves in trouble. You know, you walk on some spikes, you're two hits away. And there, there's, there's many different ways that I could find myself fucking this one up. Take it from the, the master of, of fucking up one runs lately. But this is also, like, I'm really happy with the items we've gotten so far. I'm really, I'm quite fond of most of the ones that we picked up. Proptos is one of my favorite items of the game. Spoonbender opens up so many cool synergies. Chocolate milk's a lot of fun. And good. Like, that's hopefully obvious. So this is, like, really kind of unique and also incredible damage. And our money's good and our consumables haven't really bit us in the ass too much. Taurus is also helpful. Like, we've got a lot of good things going for us right now. All we need to do is is somehow pick up enough HP to, to carry us. And it doesn't seem like that's going to be a lot of HP required. I, I actually could not shoot past that enemy to hit his friend. <laughs> to behind him. Like, if you don't know the relationship between two enemies, they're friends. They might hate each other. They might not even talk to each other when they come in, uh, you know, into the office in the morning. But they're friends as far as I'm concerned, because they're on the opposite side that I am. We've not done that room. Now we've done that room. Uh, an easy shortcut, and this is common, but an easy shortcut to success on our run here would be Dark Bum. If we get Dark Bum, it's, it's basically over. As long as we can continue to get occasional Red Heart drops. And this is probably a worthy situation to try that out. It's an easy room to take damage on. This sucks. I don't want anything to do with this. I shouldn't blow up that judgment. But by the time I realized that, it was too late. <laughs> We're going to get deals with the devil anyway, so it doesn't make sense to, to blow up judgment, basically. But we got some consumables out of it. But we paid some consumables for it as well. Two lovers cards. You know it's interesting when your shots are so big that it's actually making it hard to hit something. So we could get in this room for half price. I had to try, and it seemed to work out very nicely. Puberty is meaningless here, and pheromones is not so bad. 
Well, it's good, actually, but it's, it, it doesn't do anything for us there, but that's okay. Come on! At this point, I'm like... It, it doesn't... It's not really nice to give me money. Like, I can't really be like, oh, thanks for the money, if you're not actually going to give me anything to do with it. So, I'm going to hold off on my praise there. Looks like we're probably going to be a little too slow for boss rush. That's okay. Didn't see any tinted rocks there. Again, our shots are so big, it's actually a little difficult to ensure that I'm hitting uh, the hearts instead of the masks. Despite aiming at the hearts. Oh, this should be good. This will be satisfying. Oh, that was just not very smart on my part. That's okay. Got it. We've got damage still. We've got spirit hearts. Yes, we do. we got spirit hearts. How about you? I hate when you actually are in a situation where you don't like using Taurus because you have so much damage with your actual shots. My shots are hitting those eyes when they're not even, like, touching because the hitbox is so large. Tears up is fine. Uh, and actually, this is... It also... Oh, you know what? That's what's happening. They're actually hitting the fires. That's good, though. Lump of Coal is actually going to be awesome for us here, even with Proptosis. is going to help out. And did we... Did we hit our item room up here? Maybe not? Maybe not. Let's explore a little bit. Lovers, lovers. We haven't gone this way yet. I don't think we hit up our item room, so... It would be good to do so. And we'll check for more Spirit Hearts as well, because, again, it's continually the scariest part of this whole run is whether or not we're going to get enough Spirit Hearts to survive in spite of our incredible physical strength here. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> wow, that was not a great haul. Okay. Whew, thank God there's not a Curse of the Blind on this floor. That could have been dangerous. Oh, hello. Oh, we got no bombs. But... We might be able to snag an HP, but if he drops one HP, do I really want to pick up one HP? Because I'll lose Horror Babylon. It'll be an interesting situation. We don't really care for that. One bomb would help out a lot, considering there is a uh, hmm, there is a uh, tinted rock here and a skull attached to it. Come on, come on, Luckfoot. It's fine, but uh, yeah, we're probably better off with the strength card. It's fine, but not necessarily my ideal payout. And we'll. Head down to the next floor. Extra luck doesn't hurt, but... And Lump of Coal is very nice. But we are getting to the point where I'm starting to get a little nervous about our survivability on this run. We've got four Spirit Arts and no extra lives. And an arcade that... is probably unlikely to benefit me too much, but... Two of Spades, I'll just pop right away. We got a Demon Judgment and a Regular Judgment. Again, we can benefit from playing the Regular Judgment. We might as well play this guy at the same time. Uh, we can benefit from playing the Regular Judgment, which is always nice. We do have some extra luck, so I'm hoping for some consumable payouts on the way here. Skatol? I mean, we don't get it that often. It's kind of nice to have it, I suppose. Butterbean is shit, but we got something out of that, and it wasn't that expensive. Alright, boss trap room. We do have the left hand, so I'm hoping for some some red chest drops. My gamma setting's been reset. It seems like really, really dark in here. This is a good test for our damage. See how fast we can kill uh, Monstro 2. We're doing a decent spell of damage there. Boss rush has already faded away long past us, but that's okay. Let's take our key and move the heck along here. No bombs, unfortunately, because I spent them all like an idiot when I could have used them for finding Tinted Rocks instead. In my defense, if I'd gotten Dry Baby, I'd feel like I'm a genius right now. Other things I would like on this run. Sacrificial Dagger would be real nice for helping me um, do more damage in my Taurus states. Uh, I really don't want to talk about that damage I took from running over the spikes there. A little bit of a brain fart. It's, it's pivotal that we don't take more damage. Like, I didn't think it would be this big of a deal, but it, it really is. Things could get pretty bad for us if, if I don't follow that very simple single axiom. Also, for fuck's sake, would it kill you to give me a half-decent shop? Like, and I don't even mean, like, a, a shop with good shit. That's a pretty good situation there, potentially. I mean a shop that has things for sale. Doesn't even have to be great things. Just things. That's good enough. Taurus is still a net positive, I think, even when it slows us down a little bit. Flush is not. Flush is, is bad for us here. 
I'm not that worried for this floor. We got survivability for this floor. But I'm very worried for next floor. Um, you know, the floor where if we get hit three times, we die. Thank God for that amnesia pill. We have to take starter deck, I think. Might even want to take broken stopwatch. Oh, Hierophant is so good here. We know the pill? It's a rage downgrade, okay. Sure, take the bomb. I think we're gonna buy broken stopwatch. I'm very sorry, donation machine, but I got I got bigger fish to fry here. And the sun card is pretty good as well. Um, sorry, strength card, right. Okay, so we got the bomb. Can, one more bomb allows us to get over there. So this is broken stopwatch, so sometimes it's gonna slow enemies down, sometimes it's gonna speed them up. I'm pretty much okay with it either way. Uh, the slowing down is much better than the, the speeding up is bad, if that makes sense. Friendly spiders. Unf unfriendly spiders. Cricket's head, though. Cricket's head, though. Cricket's head, though. Crick hey! Okay. Alrighty. Cricket's head, though. So, our shots are looking quite mighty. But is it enough to... To basically handle our shit? <laughs> we have... Ooh, that was very dangerous. We have, uh... We have a problem with not having very much HP. So I've re-rolled my whole run. And now we are Dr. Fetus, Lord of the Flies. I re-roll my whole run because I, I have to. Do I hurt myself with these? No. I have pyro or just immunity somehow. Um, this is this is what you... Okay, so that did still hurt me. Um, this is what you don't want to re-roll into. Yeah, this is, this is dangerous, especially since we don't have much HP. Got 99 bombs, though. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's awesome. How did we do so much damage there so quickly? Sissy long legs helps. Are our bombs doing that much damage? Uh, they seem pretty good. I'm not very good with, with Dr. Fetus, though, because I never take it. But it seems like our damage is really strong here. This scares the shit out of me, I'm not going to lie to you. But I think we should be able to muster at least a good old college try at it. We could use the sun card here. Um, $3 bill, my reflection. Is that what caused... That would cause us to take damage there. We very much need to stop getting hit, like, right away. Awaz rune. Not helpful, probably. Better to see if we can get something on our deal with the devil here. Why did they explode right away? They explode too fast. Is that, like, a tears thing? Also, I still don't know why these don't hurt us. But maybe your bombs never hurt you as Dr. Fetus? Maybe I've just been... Mistaken the whole time? I don't think that's the case, though. I think maybe we have $3 bill, and some of our shots are occasionally being, um... Tough love, and that's what's causing the bombs to do more damage, but that seems like a pretty roundabout way for this to happen. I'm, I'm nervous, and I think I should be, honestly. I probably should not have re-rolled my situation. But I always do. Lately, anyway. Stars card. Nah, Sun card is still substantially more valuable. I really need, like, some new shot speed, man. This is, like, not fast. What? How does this even explode? How do they explode so quickly, man? We're, like, we're not fast enough. Our shot speed, in particular, is, is really not good enough to get our shit out of the way here. There are, there are positives to this run. I think that much is fairly clear. Rooms where I can kill all enemies very quickly are nice. I'm, I'm nervous. I think this is the most nervous I've been for a long period, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes I get nervous uh, when we're getting close to the end of a run, if I've, if I've fucked it up. This is the first time... These are just exploding as soon as I shoot them now. But they're not hurting me, so I'm not too mad about it, I guess. Um, 
but this is the first time I've been nervous, like, in advance. Like, well in advance. Let's keep in mind we do... That's very helpful. Let's keep in mind we do have, um... Nod Leaf. So I, I think it's actually, like, theoretically doable. Oh, you know what's happening? Is it when they hit Samson's chain? Maybe. But also maybe not. I do have Nod Leaf, so I, for, for many bosses, I might actually be able to stand still and let, like, the Sworn Protector finish them off, or even Sissy Longlegs if, I, if I'm made of time. The ability to fly is gonna help out here. And we'll see what we get on a deal with the devil. We don't have any spacebar items, so we're clearly taking this. No deal with the devil. That's really gonna help out our speed, so that's that's pretty meaningful, but I'm I'm nervous as we make our way around the horn here to the, the next level. Curse of Dorkness. Let's just not worry too much about that. We still have left hand, so I'm hoping that we manage to pick up some spirit hearts, uh, guppy items, of course, you know, if I can. More spiders is not really what I'm looking for. In case you were curious, uh, find that the spider-based economy does not benefit me too much in this situation. All right, I'm, I'm still anxious, but more comfortable now. Like, I'm I'm feeling better about our, uh, our potential on this run. I'm settled in, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I know that it's gonna be hard, but I also know what I need to do to succeed, I think, and this floor's been pretty positive so far. I still don't understand why. I guess if I touch them, they just explode. Okay, good. Good. Don't get hit. Don't get hit by anything. That's that's a big part of this right now. Look at how much damage. Like, our our bombs do so much damage when they actually hit the enemy. And our spiders have got to be doing disgusting amounts of damage. The real question here, do we want to use the sun card to skip a lot of the cathedral? Or do we want to use the sun card for full health? Uh, I think it's in our best interest to, Wow, those spiders, man. It's in our best interest to use it for full health. Spider. Spider. It's alright, more spiders the better. Um, why do we want to use it for full health? Well, it's possible we pick up some HP ups on the next floor, and then full health is more meaningful than what it looks like right now, which is just like two hearts. Spiders are so good. More spider items is also what I would desire on the on the chest. Good, just a chain reaction. Just wait for the chain reaction. Range down. Not not what we need right now. One spider in there. One spider solves so many problems. We kill him? He's dead. He's not? Oh, there's one of these guys left. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Gotta play this guy. Um, we're not trying to farm for a deal with the devil. Just give me some HP, man. Every every single heart alleviates my own personal potential heart problems here. Burkano seems really great. Uh, this, you know, the flies and the spiders are gonna do a lot of damage and help me out a lot. That's super good. Thank you for your support. Oh, I can't, I can't. I'm going to, I can't though. Uh, let's not forget to drop the left hand. If I become Guppy, this is this is amazing. It's always amazing, but more amazing than maybe even usual. Um, not a secret room. Not a secret room. I gotta try, man. It's nerve wracking, but I gotta try. Oh, thank God. Okay, we can get in there for free. Every time we have homing bombs, I'm so happy. Guppy, it's okay. Cricket's head again. <laughs> it's possible, I think. No, okay. That's fine too. Pills? Oh, that hurts real bad. Still better off with the sun. Magic mush. Magic mush. Oh my god, it worked out. Okay. Um, let's see what we got in here. That's not Guppy. That is also not Guppy. That is Pandora's box to give me a cathedral item. Which is not Guppy, but that is the Godhead. So, that's unexpected. <laughs> I'm assuming that that's really going to help out our flies and spiders game. Uh, I got to keep left hand for now just to see if we finish the guppy dream. I'm almost tempted to take it down to the the chest to see if we can finish the guppy dream that way. 
You gotta admit, that's kind of novel, right? Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. The hitbox on these bombs is gonna be disgusting. Also, apparently I cannot shoot them. They just explode as soon as they leave. We did find the second secret room through this very strange fact, though. Are you telling me I didn't kill all these enemies? This displeases me greatly. We gotta drop the left hand. It's just the... It's the right thing to do. I'm sorry, left hand. We gotta, we gotta take the best possible chance that we can get. So we're gonna have 4 HP at least on the next floor, and we are gonna live till the next floor. Um, our damage is too good for it to, to go any other way. Oh, bad damage. There is a... We want to avoid taking as much damage as possible. Yo, sissy, spit out a spider. Honey, you were prizing in the kitchen. We're a perfect match. I could spit out a spider. <laughs> it's not... Not the most proud of my singing voice. I think we got this. I think we got it, but it's definitely a tense run and an intense run. I don't know if I can even do that here. Yes, yes, that's big. Um, so is that, actually. I don't think I can take number one. It's just the rate of fire is not a problem for us. It's entirely the fact that the shots just explode so quickly. Wow, we got... Mind, bot or mind, soul, and godhead. So this should be 100% set now. Um, which is incredible. I'm very thankful for this ridiculous run. And it looks like... Well, next run is Isaac, right? So it's, it's fairly likely that we'll hit 60. 60 is a full month. I'm, not try I'm trying not to get too ahead of myself. Trying not and not trying are two different things. But... Um, I'm trying not to get too far ahead of myself, but 60 wins, man, it's it's within reason here. And it's it is they have not been 60 wins of the cowardly variety. We've been taking <laughs> been taking our chances on each one. Well, I'm taking my time, just moving on. You'll forget about me after I've been gone. Easy finish here. Cool. Uh, let's let's leave because this run scared the shit out of me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. It was certainly crazy. If you did enjoy, it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.